Glenmark will now command 30 minutes from time of dispatch. Requesting assistance from T County Airport, Smokey One, their largest uh, foam application apparatus. This fire is starting to expand onto a second barge. It's overwhelming our current O stream and water supply capability. Okay, Merle Command, uh, King County Airport foam apparatus, largest they have available. We will get them at 30 minutes from time and dispatch. Command understood. Command letter 7 C and D. If you've got a hose line that you can redeploy to the, we'll call it the south end of the barge to protect the mooring line from burning through. Command from ladder 3 rig. Marginal command from rescue boat 5. Marginal command, go ahead, fire boat 5. Marginal command from rescue boat 5. Be advised, you had a couple of cars fall into the water here on the offshore side. And it looks like you're having a little bit of magnesium fires in there too with some white sparks. Uh, making a recommendation to notify U.S. Coast Guard and possibly shut down the uh, waterway. And also, Coast Guard has been notified. Ladder 7 from Myrtle Command. Ladder 7. We're going to have uh, the fireboats on the water side. They're going to start firing up. We let them know where your apparatus was, but communicate directly if needed if they start overshooting this. 7 okay. We're going to start applying water to the stern of the boat, we're about to lose the mooring line, and we're applying water to prevent that. Command, okay, applying water to the mooring line to maintain control of the barge at the dock position now. So let's try a marginal command on channel 11. We, when you arrive, we want you to come in, apply water from the north end of the barge. I understand we've got resources, so you can and Boeing Fire Foam Truck is in route. Understand, Boeing Fire Truck, Foam Truck in route. Engine 26, engine 11. Engine 26, apparatus, engine 11. 26, apparatus, go ahead. Just increase pressure. We only have 10 pounds to pump down. Merle Command, 40 minutes from time of dispatch. Merle Command, okay. Command, Fireball, let's say we are just about ready to apply water. Fireball, let's say I see your location. Yeah, we're going to want to keep you coming in that way. The first barge you're seeing that's loaded with cars, uh, the south side of that is starting to become involved. The crane you see just to the west, obviously the fire is this side of that or to the uh, north side of that. Approximately what I understand is a 60 foot separation. I need you to come in probably about another 30 to 40 feet if possible and you'll start hitting uh, what we're after. That's perfect. Perfect location, fireboat. Broke acknowledge. Broke command. 2016 Bravo from the water group. Go ahead, step by for fire ground traffic. Broke command for dispatch. Did you request 211? I did not request 211, but we're probably close to being there. Okay, Mark, did you request two additional engine companies? Command Fireball 4, 
we're uh, just going to need a little bit of direction. If you want us to stay here or move in more? Just uh, stand by. Um, there was no request for two additional engines from command. Fireball 4, go to channel 1B or zone 2, channel 1. One doctor to radio for make on. Hold where you are. Fireboat Leshai from command. Uh, I just don't want you to go a whole lot further south with that spray, but you're having real positive effects, so keep it rolling. Division Bravo from command. Bravo. You have a fit. that we can coordinate with. Affirmative, engine 27 officer. Uh, you're going over the top. You need to bring that down. Uh, Lesha, you're overshooting. You need to back up about 30, 40 feet to bring that stream down. Command from the Bravo. Go for command. Advised, I have engine 27, 36, ladder 7. Ladder 7 is blowing their pipe. Engine 36 has got a ground monitor. We are tapped out for water, standing by for Boeing. Also be advised, we are downwind. Understood. Uh, you're downwind, so we're going to need to start getting people on air. Uh, we'll get some more resources here to start doing some crew rotation. Um, Looks like we're starting to have a lot of effect with the fireboat, so... We're gonna need, we're gonna need bottles here in Division Bravo. Command understood. Air 10, your location. Air 10, is that B-5 staging? Air 10, what's your location? We're going to need to get some bottles taken over to the uh, Division Bravo, which is uh, south side adjacent to Ladder 7. Air 10 is on its way to Ladder 7, Division Bravo. Fireboat Leshai from Operation. You're uh, applying water too far east. It gets just a little bit to the west. Part of that's ended up on the dock. Fireboat 4, acknowledge. Fireboat 4, acknowledge. Left side. Fireboat 4, go ahead. Is acknowledged. Your water is overshooting the fire. You need to pull it back. Command has tried to notify you of that. You get too close, pull back. Okay. Uh, we'll, we're going to pull back 30 or 40 yards. All units on the fire ground operations. If you're in the smoke, you got to be in a mask. If, you're, if you need crew rotation, we'll get your crew. Hey, can you, uh, can you give us a one, one company to uh, direct our stream? Ladder 7 is giving us good direction on channel 2. Eight fourteen operation. 14. Put you in contact with the fireboat. Flesh eye and coordinate their stream. Fireball Flesh eye, talk to you. 14. 14, okay. We're on uh, zone 2, channel 1. What's up? I'll stay on zone 1, channel 1. Dispatcher for Myrtle Command on channel 11. Go ahead, Myrtle Command. We need two additional engines. Myrtle Command, two additional engines. Up, but will not flow personnel in our path of water at the Bravo Charlie. For Marine Hold. Boeing crash truck is on scene. They are positioning their apparatus. 
were uh, coordinating with Water Group to get uh, some of supply. Understood. We just requested two more engines. They'll be en route. I'll have them coordinate with Engine 26 Water Group for their positioning on a hydrant. Be advised, Water Group consists of Engine 26, 28, 11, and Engine 6. Command Engine 6.